Have you ever wondered what secrets might be hiding under the ice? Imagine opening a giant freezer that's been closed for thousands of years. What do you think you'd find inside? Well, scientists have been doing just that with something called permafrost, and they've found some pretty wild stuff. Permafrost is ground that stays frozen all year round. It's like nature's own time capsule, keeping things preserved for a really long time. As our planet gets warmer, some of this permafrost is melting, revealing secrets from long, long ago. Are you ready to discover the seven craziest things ever found in permafrost? The tiny worm that came back to life. Scientists found a tiny worm called a nematode in the permafrost. Now, nematodes are so small, you need a microscope to see them properly. But this wasn't just any worm. It was over 40,000 years old. Can you believe it? The crazy part is that when they warmed it up, it started moving. This ancient worm came back to life after being frozen for thousands and thousands of years. It's like it took the longest nap ever. But wait, there's more. It even started having babies. Scientists call what the worm did cryptobiosis. It's like a super deep sleep where the worm's body processes slow down so much that it looks dead, but it isn't. This discovery shows us how tough some creatures can be, surviving for so long in the ice. Who knows what other tiny creatures might be waiting to wake up in the permafrost? The giant virus. Now this might sound a bit scary, but don't worry, it's not dangerous to people. Scientists found a really big virus in the permafrost. They called it Pithovirus Sibericum. When I say big, I mean big for a virus. It's still way too small to see without a powerful microscope. When they warmed it up, it became active again. This virus only affects tiny creatures called amoebas, not humans. But it taught scientists that very old viruses can sometimes wake up when the ice melts. It's like the virus took a really, really long nap and then woke up ready to go. This discovery made scientists realize they need to be careful when studying things in permafrost. Most old viruses probably won't hurt us, but it's important to be safe. It also makes us wonder what other kinds of ancient germs might be frozen in the ice. The Ice Age Bison Stew, North America's first frozen mummified remains of an Ice Age steppe bison, the 36,000-year-old mummy named Blue Babe. Scientists found a 36,000-year-old bison in permafrost, nicknamed Blue Babe, due to its bluish color. The bison was incredibly well-preserved, still having skin, hooves, and fur. It was huge, weighing as much as a car, and likely killed by an ancient lion. Here's the crazy part. Scientists actually cooked and ate some of it. They made a stew from a piece of the bison's neck and had a dinner party. The meat tasted like a mix of beef jerky and dirt, but amazingly, no one got sick. This shows how well permafrost can preserve things, even keeping meat edible for thousands of years. The woolly mammoth named Yuka. Woolly mammoths are like elephants with lots of fur that lived long ago during the Ice Age. Scientists found a young mammoth in Siberia that they named Yuka. She was so well preserved that she still had some of her furry coat. Yuka lived about 28,000 years ago, which is way before any pyramids were built. But here's the really wild part. Scientists were able to take some of Yuka's cells and make them show signs of life again. They put the mammoth cell nuclei, the part of the cell that contains DNA, into mouse egg cells. Some of these combined cells started to do things that happen just before a cell divides. It's not quite bringing the mammoth back to life, but it's a big step. Maybe one day we'll be able to see real, living woolly mammoths again. This discovery is helping scientists understand how we might be able to bring extinct animals back to life in the future. The Ice Age Lion Cubs. Scientists discovered two Ice Age cave lion cubs in Siberia, naming them Sparta and Boris. Initially thought to be siblings, they were actually born 15,000 years apart. Sparta, the younger cub, was incredibly well preserved with whiskers and sharp claws intact. These cubs taught scientists a lot about Ice Age lions they grew faster than modern lions, possibly to survive the harsh, cold environment. The discovery also showed that the same areas remained suitable for lions over thousands of years, despite climate changes. This find gives us a rare glimpse into the lives of these ancient animals, helping us understand how they adapted to their Ice Age world. The ancient horse with liquid blood.
This discovery is super rare and exciting. Scientists found a baby horse that had been frozen for 42,000 years in a place called the Batagaika Crater in Siberia. That's older than any human civilization. The foal, that's what we call a baby horse, was only about two weeks old when it died. The horse was incredibly well preserved. It still had its skin, hooves, and even its tail and mane hair. Scientists could see that it had a dark tail and mane with a body color kind of like a bay horse today. But the amazing thing was that it still had liquid blood inside it. Finding liquid blood in such an old animal is incredibly rare. In fact, this is the oldest liquid blood ever found, beating the previous record by 10,000 years. Some scientists hope they might be able to use this blood to bring this type of horse back to life someday, just like in Jurassic Park, but with horses instead of dinosaurs. While that might be a long shot, studying this blood can teach us a lot about how animals lived in the Ice Age. The Siberian Ice Maiden. And now for the craziest permafrost discovery of all, a human. In 1993, in a place called the Ukok Plateau in Siberia, scientists found a woman who lived over 2,500 years ago. They call her the Siberian Ice Maiden, or the Princess of Ukok. She was buried in a special tomb that got taken over by permafrost, which kept her incredibly well preserved. The Ice Maiden had tattoos on her skin that were still visible after all those years. Can you imagine having a tattoo that lasts for thousands of years? The Ice Maiden was buried with lots of interesting things. There were two horses, fancy wooden tables, and even some cannabis, a plant that can be used as medicine. All these things tell us that she was probably a very important person in her community. Scientists think she might have been a priest or a storyteller for her people. They were part of a group called the Paziric culture, who lived in the mountains and moved around with their animals. Studying the Ice Maiden and the things buried with her taught us so much about how people lived 2,500 years ago. It's like meeting someone from the distant past and getting to ask them all about their life. Permafrost is like a frozen time capsule, full of surprises from Earth's past. As it melts, we might discover more amazing things, maybe even dinosaurs or ancient treasures. But there's a serious side too. Melting permafrost could release old viruses or bacteria. While most won't harm us, scientists must be careful when studying these frozen findings. These discoveries are puzzle pieces that show us what Earth was like long ago. The animals, plants, and even people. It's like having a time machine. Next time you hear about melting permafrost, remember, it might reveal incredible secrets. Who knows? The next big discovery could happen any day. Maybe you'll be the one to find something amazing, frozen in ice. Keep exploring and learning about our world's hidden history.